Hello there gamers, I'm the 8 Ninja, and today I have some questions for you guys. Now these are about partnership, I have spoken to several different networks about partnership, now I know which ones give the pi uh, highest payout, and which ones give the best benefits and all that stuff, but I want to hear your guys' opinions about which network you guys like the best, and know if you guys know anything about this net these networks that I don't know. So I'll go ahead and list them off, the first of which being the Full Screen Arcade. This is a very nice network, they have pretty good commentators, but most of them are pretty small. I'll link their channel in the description so you can to go check them out you probably haven't heard about them before because they're very small uh, at the moment they're kind of unprofessional but they're very open and they're very they're very uh, commutative or something I don't, I don't know they're they're pretty nice though and I really enjoy the full screen uh, partners I've seen some of them in the past I believe e my diction is actually now a full screen partner and he is one of my favorite youtubers of all time he's just freaking awesome but anyways uh, that's irrelevant to the video um, there is second is curse you guys have you guys know about them they're pretty much new they're being run by pretty much just one guy so they're very small, but they're very they're very open as well, and I really like that about them But I, I'm considering that a lot curse is the one that I'm leaning towards because they have no lock-in They have they they are upfront about everything. They're very they're very open about everything So that's the one I'm leaning towards. I really like them. They're open They're They're new they're not curse isn't focused on partnership So they're not gonna just shove partnership in everyone's face It's just kind of a side thing to curse that they just started out which is very interesting and then the third one is one you guys definitely haven't heard before. It's uh, called Tube Share. This guy, uh, he messaged me earlier today. Now this is the one that is going to have the highest payout. Frankly, that's not really too big a deal for me right now because I, I know over the years, if I keep doing this, that's going to change by a lot and this won't be too big a deal. But with Tube Share, they're very new. They don't offer a whole lot, but they do offer the highest payout. They're very small, so they are they're localized. They they will they're very open. They're they constantly talking to all their partners because they're very small. So that's that's one thing. But the thing is, another thing about them is they're very small, and that can oftentimes make networks unstable, which is what the problem was with TGN. They were very unstable. They haven't fixed things up yet, and they've been going at it for yeah, I think five years now. What it is, and there's still they still haven't figured things out, but TubeShare is very new. They're part of the Bent Pixel. Uh, they're an extension off of that, so they do have pretty good ads, and they do have the highest payout. But you know that's that's not too big a deal for me. I, I'm I'm you know full screen. It, they, it looks like they have the lowest payout, but they do have the best ad buys, which is very interesting. So all of that is subject to change depending on how many views I get. But anyways, that stuff is irrelevant. That's all TubeShare offers. Which, you know, them being small, it can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing. Alright, and fourth is Machinima. You guys all know Machinima. A lot of you guys don't like Machinima because they have so many bad partners. But you're going to find that's the same with every network. Curse now has a whole bunch of bad partners. They have a whole bunch because they're leaving TGN and they're going to Curse. And also a bunch of those guys are from the Together to the Top program, which is something that Athene started a while back. So most of their subs are actually inactive, which is another other bad thing about curse that's pretty much the only bad thing about curse other than that I like everything about them they're very nice they're very kind and that that's why I'm leaning towards them I'm also kind of leaning towards full screen though because they offer great benefits especially with live streaming uh, promotion and also with their their dashboard which is very helpful for tracking the monetization of the views but I believe curse also have makers dashboard which is very nice because that one's it's been in development for a long time and makers is a very professional network so that's that's why one thing that might be in curse. I'm not exactly sure about that. I still have to ask questions about that. But anyways, Machinima, they're very big. I would be joining them, and I might be able to become a director, but that's not really uh, too big a concern because we're growing quite rapidly on our own. And then the fifth one, the fifth and final one, which I'm not really leaning towards, is Yaush. Now, they've crashed in the past. They've gotten bad odd buys. They've just totally lost a bunch of partners. This, this is something they've struggled with, but they seem to be coming back now. They look pretty professional. They look like they know what they're doing but the thing is they are not open if you don't fit have 1500 subscribers which I currently don't I, I mean we'll reach that in a few days they won't even talk to you you just have to have I believe I believe it's only uh, like 25,000 views a month which isn't that many so they're very you know kind of closed off to uh, other people which is one thing I really don't like but anyways if you guys know any networks please leave them in the description below you can go ahead and send me 
uh, or my channel over to some other network recruiters if you feel like it. I mean, that would that would be very nice of you. I'm still willing to talk to other networks. You know, it, it's it's just it's a process, and hopefully we'll get partnered up by the end of this week so we can live stream on YouTube again. But if we don't, then we'll do it on Twitch because that didn't seem to go too bad. It it was kind of messy, but you know it worked out pretty well. Anyways, I believe that will be it for today. Um, I I, I want to make a video saying goodbye to TGN, so I think I'm going to make that next. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and please leave your comments below on what you think of these networks and what other networks you know about that I might like. And that's going to be it for today, so be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. This has been the 8-Bit Ninja with a YouTube partnership asking for advice stuff. But that's going to be it for today, so peace out, the 8-Bit Ninja.